Hello, Sean and Lizzie. Not forgetting Bentley. And everybody that watches the Abad videos on YouTube. This is our <laughs> Bailey 79.6 motorhome, and we bought this last April. We collect, we picked it up, so we we went to the February um, motorhome show, which was at the NEC, and we looked around. So quite a few different sort of. Um, styles of motorhome and we ended up with this one and it's perfect for our needs yep Two we um doggies <laughs> we initially <laughs> tried out a california uh, we uh, volkswagen very kindly lent us um, a california for the weekend but we found with the two Labradoodles, mm -mm. Fudge and Treacle, um, there wasn't really enough room. I think uh, one Bentley is, is enough, but two Labradoodles is probably pushing it a bit too far. Mm. Anyhow, this is a six berth layout. So um, we have a drop down bed, which is uh, literally just there above us. And uh, it pulls down not like that, much. but not too far. <laughs> Otherwise I'll hit on you on the head. And there's a small bed, literally just where I'm sitting here that can be made up. It's only really big enough for, for children. And a large double in the lounge area. So uh, the lounge is a, a, a bed that you make up. Every night. Every night. <laughs> Which, to be honest, it's that sounds that could sound like, oh no, I've got to make the bed up. But when you're in your motorhome, what are you doing? You're traveling, you're setting up, you're stopping, you know, doing your stuff for the day. You settle down and you make it part of your routine. It only takes five yeah, minutes. It's actually really, really easy. It's a few minutes to set up. So uh, we like the layout. Um, this is the um, kitchen area. It's got a, a pull-up flap for to extend the worktop surface. Uh, you've got an oven underneath and uh, a three burner gas hob with a single electric hob, which is useful when we're on a electric hookup in the campsite. Microwave. Yeah, microwave and a large fridge. Which, which stores our lovely uh, G and T. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, if you can tell us about the bathroom. The bath. <laughs> what can I say? It's got a lovely shower. Um, loo as you would normally have in one of these motorhomes. It's a cassette loo <laughs> stop. I don't know what to say about the bloody loo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we ready? We recording? Yes, the son has had the giggles. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm trying to keep a straight face. It's quite hard to do these video <laughs> things, you know. Well, the, the water heating Fabulous. in this van is really, really good. I can thoroughly recommend it. Looking at some of the outside features, um, we've got the gas low refillable gas system we've installed, which uh, was not standard on the van, and that's really convenient. So we can fill the gas up at LPG uh, petrol stations. We've got a generous uh, through garage area for storage at the back um, and, um, and a wind out awning, which is absolutely fantastic. One of the features that we liked about this was the generous amount of roof lights and skylights, which really brings the light in and makes so it very nice. airy. It's, really, it's so bright and breezy in here. It's, it's yeah, it just it makes it, it roomy as well, doesn't it? Really roomy. It does. So we've got a bright big skylight right at the front. Um, we've got several in the middle uh, and a large one in the lounge area. So that pretty much sums up the van. Um, we're looking forward to getting out about again and getting to the campsites yeah, and yes. hopefully we'll bump into some of you guys out and about whilst we're on our travels. That's it from us now. Nice talking to you all and we hope to see you on our travels soon. Bye bye.